Welcome to this Tyrannus Open TX Quick Tip. Now we have a subscriber called Bob W and he's asked us how do you set up a timer that counts down? Now there are lots of different ways to do this but I'll show you Bob the two ways that I do it here but hopefully this will be interesting for other people as well. Now I, unlike Bob, I like my timers to count down automatically. As soon as I start using the throttle I like the timer to be running. Now there are two ways that you can set this up and I've got two timers showing on here. Timer 1 is set for throttle S and timer 2 is set for throttle T. Timer 1 is set for 10 minutes, timer 2 is set for 15 minutes. Let me just show you how these work. At the moment we're sat waiting to fly and now I'm going to start flying and here we are flying around. Both timers are now running. Timer 1 is now counting how much throttle I'm using. Timer 2, which is throttle T, is now counting. Now if I shut the throttle off, so say I was on a plane and I'm now soaring around, timer 1, which is THS, stops counting down, but timer 2, which is THT, continues. Now to reset these, once I've finished my flight and I've had enough, so the way I'd use this is THS is a great way on a plane to keep track of how much um, power you've been using, so how many minutes in the flight you've been on the throttle. If we press and hold enter, we can reset each of these timers back to their first numbers. So let me show you how I've done that. I'm going to press menu and page, and if I go down here, here are the three timers that you can set up. Timer 1 is set for THS. If you just press and hold enter, you can uh, pick which settings you want. And there's loads in here, so I'd recommend have a look and have a play. But I set it to THS and 10 minutes. Then the other one that I've set up is timer two. I've set that for THT and I've set my countdown timer as 15 minutes because that's the overall flight time that I want. Timer one's more just interesting for me to see how much time I've been on the throttle. So hopefully that helps you, Bob. That's typically the way I do it. But I'd definitely have a look in here at all of those throttle settings. because It's easy to set up timers that count down and also easy to set up multiple timers that are keeping track of different things. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.